What's going on everybody? Christian Ortiz here. I'm celebrating my 10 year anniversary of Modtography, which is my photography company. You know, 10 years ago, in order to get it started, in order to self-promote my photography, I would go to the streets and literally ask people if they wanted a headshot on the spot for anywhere between a dollar to five dollars, and I did that uh, for an entire year, and I called it on the spot Modtography because I was taking pictures on the spot. And so what I want to do today, in celebration of my 10 years, is do the same thing and take it back to the streets and uh, get some headshots for $5 for, uh, or random portraits from anybody who wants them and, uh, and celebrate because it's such an amazing achievement for me. It's amazing how many pictures I've taken in 10 years when you look at it, when you look back. Especially when you start your own business, you don't know what it's really going to look like. I've taken pictures of people from all walks of life. I've taken pictures of so many adventures. Photography is one of those things that literally gives you a backstage pass to anywhere you want to go. And it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal experience. I'm very blessed to have had it for this long. Everything that I've ever done, from photography to music to photo editing to working software and teaching myself how to do it all, it led me to filmmaking. I'm very, very thankful for photography in the sense of what it's given me, of what I've learned, what I was able to teach myself, the doors that it has opened for me, the opportunities. It really is such an amazing gift. Giving photography as a gift to somebody is what it's all about. Pictures are very important, at least to me, and I know they are to a lot of families. But the power a photograph has to capture a moment is unbelievable. When you think about the importance of a graduation or an event, or celebrating your children, or your marriage, an engagement. There are so many important moments in our life that we go through. You know, opening up a business, having family portraits of your kids after so many years of not having pictures. We forget, almost, how important a photograph really is. How it captures time. How it reminds us of times that once were, and times that we want to always cherish and remember. Modtography for me was one of the best investments, not only in myself, but to my community. I always wanted to make a difference in every way possible, especially if it was through my creativity. And so I'm very, very fortunate that I'm able to do so given my talents and given you know, the confidence that I had within myself to do these types of things. At the end of the day, Modest Roots, Modtography, Mod Atlas Media, the Mod brand is all about inspiration. It's all about inspiring others to do things bigger than themselves. Maybe you don't understand what it looks like. Maybe you don't know what your true purpose in life through your talents really is. But when you discover it, it normally falls back to giving to others. And really, it just looks different for us all. We all have individual talents. There are so many photographers out there, but they're all different. They all have a different eye. They all have a different way of capturing an image of memory. And it's their way of giving back to their clients. It's their way of giving back to their communities. Photography, I can't say it enough, is one of the most important things we have as a society. It's one of the most important things we've always had, and I'm just grateful to be a part of the, of the community. Right now, we're on Veterans Parkway heading southbound towards downtown Columbus. I promised a lot of people that I would be down there. It's market days, which should be tying up any minute now. Columbus, Georgia is such an interesting city. I've been here for almost 26 years. And 
what I've realized is I'm in a position to watch a small city become larger and larger every year. And when you're as engaged in the community as I am with not only what's happening in events and, and political leaders, but when you actually are engaged with the community itself and you know the people that are trying to do big things in the community, you see a sense of beauty in life that not many get to witness. It's actually really humbling. It's really a beautiful experience. When you realize and you get to the point in life where you know that everybody is growing at every second of the day at their own pace, given free will for all, you remember why it is we are the types of society that we are. And it humbles you and it reminds you to take a step back and to understand that there are things that you absolutely cannot control and there are things that you have the ability to encourage. Finding that balance of understanding is extremely important. We teach the world about who we are, whether we want to or not. And it's extremely important to understand this. It's all about perception and perspective. More perspective rather than perception. Perception can lead more into the ideals of something that it is not. Perspective is just another way to look at the truth to help you better understand. And so I try to live my life through looking through a glass of perspectives to better understand what makes people tick, to better understand how my compassion can make sense in the most outrageous situations. It is what gives me the ability to have conversations with individuals who believe completely opposite of what I believe. And there's a balance that goes along with it where you have to understand that boundaries should always be put in place if you're in a situation with no resolve and being led with nothing but toxicity. There are some individuals who will never want to know better. They don't want to know anything different. They fear the unknown. And so one thing that I absolutely try to do with my photography and my videography and my storytelling is showing a perspective, showing those in fear that there's nothing to fear at all. And it doesn't matter what town you come from, what city you come from, the fear of the unknown is always present. And the first thing that we go into is fight or flight. And when we encounter individuals who have been struck with stereotypes, we dread inside our souls that we don't want to know what's on the other side. And it's extremely important to talk about it. It's an extremely important ideal to digest. We are in a community and a society filled with a lot of unknowns simply because we don't want to open the door and take a look inside. Truly, we have been controlled by our stereotypes. We have had our emotions controlled by stereotypes. And any pragmatic ideas of humanity have gone out the window simply because we've allowed the unknown to control our rationale. There is something to be said about irrationality and irrational thoughts being driven by our fears. And I always press this question to everybody. Do you want to live a life knowing that it may not be perfect on the other side, but that by understanding the other side helps you live a better, more fulfilled, cultured life, filled with less judgment, more understanding, more love and compassion. Looking through the other side of the door and understanding rather than fearing opens such a level of peace for humanity and I don't think we talk about that enough. If I'm able to help 
better educate, or better widen the lens, if you will, for those who are trying to find the truth, then my level of success has reached its peak. Because that's all I ever want to do, is show a world a different perspective. Show a world that there's nothing to fear. The reality is, is if you live a life of compassion, of love and understanding, and empathy, you know, there's, it's the recipe for the success of a healthy mindset. We have to be empathetic as humans, we have to be understanding, we have to be compassionate. At the same time, we have to set boundaries, we have to hold others accountable. There is a balance. It will never be perfect, but it can always be peaceful. And until people realize this, I don't believe progress is as close as we would like to believe.